Hello game fans and welcome to another video from Gaming Debugged. It's been five years since my last Star Wars roundup. Previously I ranked all Star Wars games across all the different consoles old and new. This time I'm focusing on the mighty Xbox and mixing in all the new games and all of the classics have been released over the various iterations of the console. So let's get started. At 10, The Sims 4 Star Wars Journey to Batuu. Okay, so Sims isn't a Star Wars game, but the Journey to Batuu add-on is officially licensed, created by EA and actually has a pretty decent story. The epic space battles and adventuring across a galaxy has been put on hold while you focus on socialising on the planet of Batuu. Players can create their own avatars and can help to choose either the First Order or side with the Resistance whilst exploring the varied locations on offer. From the Millennium Falcon to bustling cantinas, your player completes missions and engages with characters to gain valuable intel. After a hard day's spying, you can then return home to decorate it in the plethora of Star Wars inspired decor. Number 9, Minecraft Star Wars Edition. Okay, again, not actually a Star Wars game, but once you've added the Star Wars DLC to your favorite block building game, it is instantly transformed into a Star Wars sandbox that you can create and enjoy your own adventures in. The pack contains content from A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and The Mandalorian across 12 different planet dioramas. This DLC includes a map, a skin pack, a full bespoke texture set, mobs and item reskins, a UI treatment and even the licensed soundtrack. The lack of the Cantina Band song is a big letdown, but the game itself is lots and lots of fun. Number 8. Star Wars Republic Commando Out on the original Xbox and now backwards compatible, Republic Commando has a major impact on how the clones were portrayed in the Clone Wars cartoon series. In a strange twist, the game was a clone of the then popular Ghost Recon games and borrowed heavily from Halo. Whilst it didn't match those games in terms of the quality, it did offer players a gritty squad based shooter packed full of additional lore around the troopers themselves. Star Wars Pod Racer one of the best sequences in Star Wars Episode 1 has to be the pod race, and both big and little kids alike wanted to try it out. The arcades had the definitive version with the little seat and the controllers either side, but the home consoles version was still plenty of fun. The game features all of the races and all of the courses featured in The Phantom Menace, but it also adds some new courses and a secret cheat menu for all those retro gamer fans. Number 6, Force Unleashed. Starting as Vader on the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk, you soon realise that you are an unstoppable power able to fling Wookiees with Force powers at will. It feels pretty good. Then you are ripped away from this ultimate power to take the mantle of his secret apprentice. At this point the game difficulty is cranked up and you need to learn new powers and unlock abilities throughout the story. The Force Unleashed isn't a movie tie-in or a spin-off, but covers whole new ground spanning the time frame between Episodes 3 and Episodes 4. A must for any Star Wars lore fans. Number 5. Star Wars Squadrons Star Wars Squadrons, released in 2020, was immediately lauded for being a fresh and enjoyable update to the classic Star Wars sims like X-Wing, TIE Fighter and X-Wing vs TIE Fighter. Flying through space just above the hull of a Star Destroyer and your TIE Fighter, ready to shoot the X-Wing target as it comes out the back of the Star Destroyer, it's an exhilarating experience unlike anything else I've ever played. Star Wars Squadrons is one of the best games to come out of the Star Wars universe in the past few years. It may be a bit of a one trick pony, but it executes that one trick immensely well. Number 4. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order takes place five years after the events of Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and follows Cal Kattes, a Jedi Padawan who survived Order 66 and has been living in hiding from the Empire as a scrapper. However, after an unfortunate encounter with an Inquisitor, Cal is forced to flee the planet with former Jedi. He is then recruited into her mission to rebuild the Jedi Order as the Inquisitor, the second sister, hunts them both. 
Some levels are better than others, and the gameplay is somewhere between Tomb Raider and Sekiro. But the whole experience is very Star Wars. Number 3. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 are Bioware's RPG masterpieces. Both games make up one of the most successful and brilliant Star Wars game franchises to date. Both have deep entire stories, engaging dialogue and events that have been beautifully written. These games are clubbed together as the sequel constantly references the first game, as well as to other parts of the Star Wars universe. The games play extremely well and despite some forgivable bugs and some long load times, these games are well worth playing. Number 2. Battlefront 2 Whilst the first game laid out the bare bones of the game and boasted some amazing graphics, the expensive season pass and balancing issues needed readdressing. After the initial controversy around Battlefront 2, the devotion and time DICE spent on Battlefront 2 post-launch has led to a fun, content-packed game almost unrecognisable from the original version. Spanning three cinematic eras and has a ton of new game modes, this game is still a staple in my collection and gets played very often. And at number one, it has to be LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I have chosen the all new Skywalker Saga over the complete saga, mainly because of the new graphics upgrade and the fact that you can play through all nine films at your leisure. The whole game will make you smile, mainly because you're watching those classic Star Wars scenes retold as only LEGO can. The latest version is the biggest game LEGO has created to date and give both casual and hardcore gamers a truly epic Star Wars experience, with fun deeply embedded into its centre. So what's your favourite Star Wars game? Leave them in the comments below. Uh, if this video has been useful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, ding that bell, and I'll be back with another video very soon. Finish him!